it's your crazy fan girl Shalami here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are reacting to Marvel Studios Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness trailer. I didn't react to the teaser because I did see it at the end of No Way Home. And I didn't actually realise that we're going to get a trailer already. Even though the movie's coming out in March? Or April? So... This is nice. Um, there is a lot of hype around this trailer. Um, I'm trying to avoid spoilers at all costs. Like, I only just saw someone speaking about it and I was like, holy crap, I forgot the Super Bowl is tonight in America during the day here. Um, <laughs> and that multitudes of trailers are probably dropping. Um, I see a lot of people are waiting for the Ring of Power. I don't think a Kenobi trailer is going to drop because Star Wars marketing is really crap. Um, so, not sure if that's going to drop today, but if it does, you most definitely know that I'm going to be reacting to it. But anyway, let's jump straight into this reaction because I'm super excited to see what all the fuss is about. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm super excited for this trailer. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video. But also keep up to date with all my other reactions, more movies, TV shows and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Ew. Every night, I dream the same Ooh. Oh shit. The nightmare begins. Yee! Go all the way with this, please. I did what I had to do. To protect our world. You cannot control everything strange. Mm. Open the doorway between universes. Sam Remy. We don't know who or what will walk through it. What do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. He was right. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your desecration of reality. Ooh. I'll go unpunished. We should tell him the truth. <gasps> what? No! Oh my god! Patrick Stewart? Holy shit, dude. Things just got out of hand. Oh yeah. Captain Marvel? Is that Captain Marvel? I need to go back and check that. Become a hero. I do it, I become the enemy. Oh! Oh no! Is she gonna be a villain? Same thing. Oh, I wanted to be a villain so bad, though. Right. <gasps> oh God! Ah, oh, May six. My bad. <laughs> I think the original date was around like early uh, March, but oh Jesus, holy crap, that looks so good. Um, we need to talk about the fact that it, pa Patrick Stewart is in this, I'm guessing as Professor Xavier. I know that obviously everybody's been talking about like crossovers and all this crap, but like, mm, um, like I didn't actually think, because everyone's talking about like all the cameos, like people are talking about like, t what's his name? Tom Cruise, I nearly forgot his name, coming in as I like a, a variant Iron Man, um, and then a loads of other people coming in. So that's pretty sick. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I do want to see who Captain Marvel is because that obviously wasn't Brie Larson. Who was that? Let me go back and have a look. Oh, that may look like. Hold on, I need to see the cast of the original one. I can't, she's in Bond. Lasha. Lashana Lynch, um, who was Maria Ram, I think Rambo? Yeah, she, I think she's Captain Marvel as a variant, which is sick. I have to say that, that's pretty sick. Um, and obviously because her daughter is also a superhero, so that's sick as well. Um, but anyway, this trailer was great. Again, it doesn't give too much away, obviously, that there is the conflict of all these universes sort of clashing with one another and the the 
multiverse of madness as well, so... Ugh. And also it seems very full on, like, I, I, I really want them to go in on the horror aspect, especially in terms of Wanda, because whatever that thing was where she was covered in, I think she was covered in, like, blood or whatever, or ichor or whatever, and then it zoomed into her eye, like, what the frick, dude? Um, I really would like to see her as a villain. Um, because, like, you know, she's gone through so much trauma, and I feel like she might turn into a villain in this movie because she might take advantage of Strange to get her kids back. Obviously at the end of WandaVision, if you haven't watched it, don't listen to this part, skip ahead. Um, she, We obviously did hear the, the twins, the two boys at the end, um, and it seems like they are stuck in the multiverse of madness, um, or they're in some sort of realm somewhere, or it may be just an illusion and someone's calling out to her to take advantage of her. Who knows? Um, that would be pretty sick to see. But yeah, it seems like Doctor Strange is going to be in a lot of trouble. And just, again, Patrick Stewart? Like, ah, I never thought we'd see him again as Professor Xavier. Um, and he's such an incredible Professor Xavier. Like, I can never imagine anybody else. Except, obviously, James McAvoy playing the young version, because he's an incredible actor. But anyone playing the older version of him, I can't imagine it, because Patrick Stewart is just incredible as him. Um, but yeah, I just... <laughs> this was a really good trailer. I actually really, really liked it. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the trailer for the Multiverse of Madness. Super excited. There's a lot of details in there that stand out, obviously. I know a lot of people are pro- like, I think that's why everyone was hyped, because Sir Patrick Stewart was in this trailer. And no, I don't really think anybody expected it. Like, obviously people are saying, like, all oh, just the, th the theories are going around about the new cameos that are going to be in the, sh in the movie. I was going to say show. Sure. In the movie, but at the same time, like, even with me, I try to stay away from all that. Because I'm like, I don't want that to be spoiled in case it is true. I just quickly um, went back and just looked in the trailer. Because I wanted to see um, the dialogue between Strange and Wanda again. And I love that comparison between Doctor Strange's actions versus Wanda's. Because it's actually very true. Um, but also it... It can be seen as wrong because um, I can understand it from the people's perspective and I can understand it from Wanda's perspective. Um, for Doctor Strange he was doing it for the entire world um, when he did what he did. If you haven't watched No Way Home don't watch this go away um, but if you're watching this you probably know. Um, so what he did was with the reverse time and stuff and then he eventually fixed it um he did do it for the rest of the world because he knew the consequences for everybody but at the same time he was very nice to, to um peter and <laughs> allowed it to happen like he tried to help fix his like problem um but with wanda it can see be seen as a very selfish act because it was just for her um, and it was just for Vision, and then it was for her children later on in the TV series. Um, so, I think, like, that's why people have such different sort of takes on it in terms of if you were in that situation where you did see these two heroes do, do, to, do, do two different things, you would sort of say Doctor Strange is doing it for the betterment of everyone it, besides Wanda, because Wanda, in a way, was very selfish. And to increase her chances of keeping things normal in her world she like increased those boundaries of her powers with the chaos magic and kept pushing those boundaries just so she could have normalcy for herself and her family which is pretty messed up and also because we did see like half of the world that she created majority of it all these bodies just had no movement no life they were practically dead um and only like a small circle of people were still living and had lives while the rest of them were sort of frozen in the stasis. Um, so you can see why people reacted very differently to those two different things and why she is seen as sort of a villain, like taking away the lives of all these people and especially because she made all the children disappear, um, <laughs> which is very weird. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I love that comparison and I cannot wait to see more of Wanda, honestly. I really want Wanda to get her own solo film because it would be awesome and she deserves it and Wanda Maximoff is such an incredible character that you probably could do a solo film. That would be pretty sick. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here because otherwise I can talk about this forever, especially because of that Wanda and stuff. <laughs> but we're going to leave it here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bingo out. Woo!